Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be reviewing the Anastasia Subculture Palette. Um, I did kind of just do like a random eyeshadow looks and um, I came up with this in the end. Um, but I'm just going to show you my thoughts, swatches and just what I would rate it and if it's worth it or not. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to know what I think of it, then just keep on watching. Background is not that great, like I really like filming in here because you know there's no noise and I'm just like in my zone, but the background ain't that great, like there's a radiator behind me, like. <laughs> I'm just gonna apply some of my Tarte Shape Tape as my um, eyeshadow base. This is like one of my best, like this is like my best actually, not one of my best, but it's like my best concealer. I really love it, it's just really pigmented, I mean you guys have probably heard about it a hundred times on YouTube by now. So I haven't, I've only like touched the eyeshadow palette once, so I'm just going to just use it as I would with a normal eyeshadow palette and just give you my just thoughts on it. I have it right here, I literally just received it today. Um, it is, I can't lie, like, it's a stunning palette, like, it's the same, it's kind of like the same material as the modern renaissance palette, um, it's like that, what's it called? Lint, it's, I don't know what the material's called anymore, but anyway, it's like that soft suede, a suede, it's like a suede material, you can't deny that this palette looks stunning, and I'm actually happy with the way that this camera's picking the colours up, because this is like, true lighting, I feel like. So the first colour I'm going to take is this shade right here. This shade is called Dawn and I feel like this would be my perfect kind of setting, eye setting base thing. So just from like dunking my brush in there, I did actually put a lot of pressure but to be honest like I've put harder pressure on eyeshadows and it's never really done that. Like I do have like a dent in there now. I don't know if you guys can see but there's a slight dent in there. So you literally just need to dab your brush in there. Apparently there was like the same issue with the um, modern renaissance palette i never knew that but apparently there was an issue but i'm gonna see how these eyeshadows bend i mean there is i can tell there's a lot of fallout already that's why i didn't do my base because i don't want any of that on my flawless foundation i have no idea what look i'm gonna go for but i was really intrigued by i really want to try this color right here i'm gonna try and put less pressure That's how it looks like on the brush. It's not as much as I thought there would be, but let's go on. The dawn colour is actually not a setting colour for me, I would say. Um, I wasn't expecting to buy the palette, I was actually not going to buy it. Um, me and Skin Face Beauty were actually really talking about it. To me, that looks nicely blended, in my opinion. Uh, me and Skin Face Beauty were talking about the palette, and then she was the one that actually let me know it was on Beauty Bay, and, I was, and she was like, are you going to get it? And I was like, no, I'm not going to get it. And then two seconds later, I bought it. So, I don't know. Like, I wasn't really expect, expecting to buy it. But when I think about it, like, I don't have a palette with these colours. I don't really have any eyeshadows compared to these colours. Actually, I've got two NYX eyeshadows that compare to these two right here. So that's it really, but then I feel like this palette is very unique and if you haven't got one already, I think it's worth a try, but that's why I'm here to tell you if it's worth the £41, because you got, I know you guys want to know if this is worth your hard-earned money, even I want to know, but so far, so far I'm quite happy with it. The, the colours get darker though. Like that dawn shade, I don't remember putting a colour like that on my lid. I do want to make it nice and bright in the crease. And I realise you don't need, you don't need to like dunk your brush 500 times in this palette. Oh, that's pretty. Use All Star because that was the colour I felt like a lot of people were like, mmm. So let's use that. So 
Sorry, but I'm dunking my brush in there and I see no fallout. Real question is how these are going to blend. Blend up. looking a little a little patchy the color I really want to use is electric this color right here and I'm going to use my finger with it Try to like pack that in this area here. It's a lot of fallout there. I'm also gonna take this shade cube. Much fallout with that. It's not really any actually. This is kind of like a duochrome. I can just tell. Like it's lilac. I'm also going to take Rowdy, which is this colour right here. And I'm going to take a really tiny brush. This brush, it, this brush is clean, by the way. I'm just going to... Not much fallout. Compared to what people have been doing, I don't see that much. It's doing some funny things, guys. Even when I clean the edge up, it's like, look at all that fallout. I'm basing it on what it looks like, and to be honest, like, this is not looking that great. Like, it's, it's like the shadows don't want to work together. It's like they can't build on top of each other, which is so weird. Body on top of Orsa, it's just not having it. Oh, I didn't think it was going to be... Ugh. It started off well, but when you start using the darker colours... I'm just like... I just can't believe I've just spent £40 on this. There's no question about it, the colours are very pigmented. But what's the point of it being pigmented if... If you can't blend it? So I've actually put some effort in blending and to be honest it's actually looking pretty good to me. I've put some yellow here, um, it doesn't show much to be honest, like it's having some trouble 
showing itself but I feel like that's not bad and hmm I just feel like every time I try to put anything on top of the colours it just kind of takes it away So this is the final look using the Subculture palette. Um, I mean, the look is not bad, but I feel like it's not to my liking, and it was very difficult to get. Um, and to me, like makeup shouldn't be that difficult. Um, it was just like the blending, it was really difficult and you really have to work with it and some colours don't go with each other, like they cannot go with each other because like the ones that I found that change colour a lot are Mercury and All Star so these two change colour, this one was very patchy my favourite colours were Roxy, Fudge and New Wave but even New Wave kind of changes colours on, like when, like for example if I put New Wave on top of this colour, it changes, it doesn't go on as a yellow. Um, Adorn is one of my favourites as well. Um, I just feel like this one's completely useless. The greens, this one was nice, but once you get to the darker colours, it does definitely get difficult to blend. Would I recommend it? No, because it's very patchy and for the price... I feel like drugstore eyeshadows blend easier than this and I'm, I feel really bad saying this because I love Anastasia but I have to be honest and if there's a product that is not going to work, um, it's just, it's the truth, like it's, it was really hard to work with, I thought like people were over exaggerating but it is a bit, I don't care about the fallout, people are making it as if the fallout is such a big issue but to me it's like the blendability and like the way the eyeshadows work together and to be honest they really don't work together and they are very hard to blend. And very patchy and cube is just not even there I don't I'm not liking it I'm really sorry guys but it's it's really bad but if you guys want to know how to get this look then I did film like a little Instagram tutorial so that will be up tonight but it's a thumbs down for me like I'm really disappointed like I feel so bad my heart is aching because it is really pricey if you do have it and you love it that's amazing I'm really happy you you find it great but for me personally it's just not working at all but that doesn't change the fact that i love my little uh, modern renaissance palette it's like my favorite palette i hope they do make it better and that people to purchase in the future find it easier to work with but to me it was just not working I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want me to continue doing little reviews on like latest products and stuff let me know if there's any ones that you'd like me to do. Thank you so much for watching, I love you guys and I'll see you next time.